I'm Matthew Storyrider and this is my vlog for Equestria LA 20, what is it, 2017. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot the year. Uh, yesterday is when I went on Saturday and honestly I didn't have a good time though that was mostly my own fault. I kind of woke up too early and uh I wasn't really even feeling that well to begin with. I just wanted to go because, for one thing, it's going to be the last uh, pony convention for a while. Because it's the last DQLA and there's no uh, Pacific PonyCon next year. So, that means that, like, for a couple of years at least, there's not going to be another pony convention in the LA area. And I also wanted to go because I thought it was going to be at the Anaheim Convention Center, which it is like a little bit after the Anaheim Convention Center, like maybe a mile or two past it. Because like, it's like two miles from Disneyland. So I, I, I thought it was at the Anaheim Convention Center, but it's actually at a hotel. So, or was at a hotel, but... So I kind of dropped the ball there because I didn't realize it was going to be actually at the hotel. I thought that's where the guests were who would come from, you know, another state or farther off, farther up on the state were coming or were going to stay. But no, it's actually at the hotel. So I was a bit confused there. I was also a bit confused because I'm used to having like a Friday preview day and I kind of screwed up and went to the most expensive single day that I could possibly go to, to the, at this convention, which was Saturday, which was 60 bucks, while well, Friday and Sunday are 40 and actually also happened to have more panels I wanted to go to. In fact, aside from the cosplay convention, the only panel I really wanted to go to I wound up not being able to stick around for because, as I said, I woke up too early. And it was like at 6 p.m. and I woke up around like 12 a.m. And also like I got this massive headache and I had a headache already but now it's a lot worse. And I probably, probably really shouldn't have gone because now it's like really, really getting worse. Although I think it's just my blood sugar. I'm not sure. Probably my blood sugar. But like, I I'm still recovering from yesterday because it was just so noisy and everything, it just... I, I went to the recharge room, which according to the brochure is supposed to be a quiet room, but th there was a lot of chatting going on, so it wasn't nearly as quiet as I thought it was going to be. And, and also, one thing that really hurt the experience that was also mostly my fault, is that I stood in line to get a badge for the convention, but I didn't go to the restroom first as soon as I arrived. Lesson learned. Always go to the bathroom if you've been holding it in first thing. So, yeah, that that was a mistake on my part. But, you know, at, le at least I showered and wore deodorant. That's like con going 101, you know. You got you got to shower and wear deodorant. Although I kept my sweatshirt on the whole time. That was probably a mistake, honestly. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that thing gets really sweaty sometimes. Uh, and like, I, at one point I, I, had, I really was getting really bad with the headache and my leg kind of hurts, which is, you know, one of the worst possible things for going to a convention. So I like, had the, I like used my camera stand as a walking stick and went to the Walgreens nearby across the street. But, uh, so yeah, that was kind of annoying. Of course, after I after I left early because of my headache and I was just totally crashing out at that point, I got on the bus just fine, and then I got on the next bus just fine, but the last freaking bus before I get home, it there was this woman who I think was like a Gen Xer who was very, very self-entitled, like, you know, they say us millennials are self-entitled, but I'm entirely certain that this woman was a Gen Xer, and she was just super self-entitled. She was like, she was like complaining about the previous bus, which did not stop, and she paid the driver, like, with, like, what I'm guessing is, like, pennies or something? I don't know. So she gets on the bus, she starts being even more disruptive, 
the driver refuses to move while she's on the bus, even like called the police to remove her. And like she's acting like she's Rosa Freaky Parks, but she's just, you know, just, just kind of a jerk. She's like keeps asking the driver why why he's not moving. The driver told her several times why he's not moving. But eventually she did give up and, w and walk off the bus. I, I guess, you know, it's just the kind of person they just wimp out at the last second or something. It, it's just... Uh, I, I, she was just super annoying and... That was probably the worst part of my day, thankfully. Like, the, the nothing else in that my day that, that, that day quite was nearly as bad as that. I gotta be honest, I, I am actually very, very thankful that that was the low point. Because, you know, the convention itself was, you know, was alright. I got to talk to a bunch of people, mostly strangers, but I, mean, I talked to Dusty Cat. I talked to Chocolate Pony, the guy who made Chocolate Pony, who I knew from Tumblr back when he had the Chocolate Pony Ask blog. And, you know, I just talked to a bunch of random people, so that was, you know, pleasant, I guess. It, it wasn't really completely terrible, and I, and I did go to the cosplay contest, and I will be doing the cosplay slideshow, although there is one more thing that really ruined the day for me, is that I ran out of batteries before I could get all the cosplay I wanted. Like, there was this really good Sunset Shiver cosplay that I wanted to get, and I never managed to get it. So, uh, that was kind of annoying, too. It's like, I, I completely forgot to bring a charger, like a, a mobile charging brick or anything, because, like, the recharge room is actually for charging your phone, which I wasn't aware of at first, but yeah, it is from charging your phone. Because you can just plug in a charger over there. So I, I didn't even know they had that. I would have brought in my bricks. Well, technically they're my mom's charging bricks, but... Like, this is my mom's cell phone tripod right here. You can't see it. You probably don't even realize I'm using a cell phone. Because I, I, I've got it, like, horizontally to make sure that it's HD. But yeah, basically all that combined is why I'm recording this today, like, cause, like, I just completely crashed out yesterday, and I'm still recovering from all that. So, that's why I'm recording this at home today. I was going to open up with this explanation, actually, but, uh, yeah, that, that kind of slipped my mind out. I, I was gonna open up. Well, so you probably noticed that I'm wearing a different hat. I'll be getting a new hat in the mail. This is actually one of my mom's hats. Because I accidentally lost my hat the other day. Uh, well, earlier this past week, I think it was somewhere around there. It's so like I was wearing my sweatshirt, uh, sweatshirt and my hat on top of it. And my hat doesn't really fit on top of the hood. So, yeah, that was probably pretty stupid of me. Especially because I was kind of tired and not paying attention to how... Well, my hat was on my head, so yeah, I've got a new hat. So, uh, that's pretty much all I think that I wanted to say. Like, you know, it was just kind of just mediocre experience overall. I mean, I wouldn't say it was like completely terrible or quite bad experience, but I do think that I kind of wasted my money in this specific instance. This is a shame, because I almost have enough money to get a PS4, but, you know, I, I give it give it a couple months, and then I'll probably be able to get one and a game. But, uh, for now, that's pretty much everything. So, until next time, stay determined. The good thing about the whole th experience is that I did learn the bus route for getting to the convention center. I don't, and now I'm starting to question if the next Power Morphicon is actually going to be at the convention center or another hotel. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons I went was so that I could, you know, get the bus route to the convention center for the next Power Morphicon. And, uh, I technically did, but, like, I passed it on the way. So basically all you gotta do is just go to the Disneyland bus stop and just walk, I guess. 
but I think it's like a mile away or something, which is a, kind of a lot for me personally. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm sure I'll work it out in the end. So yeah, that that's everything. So for real this time, until next time, stay determined.